Hey guys, Bear Hands here. We're going to be playing Clash Royale post challenge, which we were unable to achieve. We got to 16, that was our highest number that we got to, and I'm pretty happy with that. So we're going to be climbing ladder today with this. You guys have definitely seen this before if you've been playing Clash Royale within the last couple of months. Hog Lightning with the Axe-Nado combination here. I want to take it up the ladder a little bit. Uh, ideally, you can shut down humongous pushes with the Executioner Tornado combination. I think probably best placement is that Executioner right in front of the tower, so as the tank approaches, it doesn't start throwing that axe at the angle, which is something I need to get a little bit used to. And then, also, being able to pressure the opposite sides with that hog, and then having that lightning-hog combination and double elixir that can take down those defensive structures and get the hog to the tower. Really, really nifty, Dak. Okay, Fred, Eric... Seven, our first opponent. Let's give him a thumbs up. Good luck. And I'm going to start off this match with an Ice Spirit at the bridge. Just to kind of see what he does. If he throws something down to stop it, then we can defend. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to throw Executioner right here. And then get this going right on the bandit. Now, I feel like that... That poison might have been a little bit of an overcommitment, so we're gonna throw Hog in here uh, with this, and he is able to get the Electro Wizard down, but then it gets out of range. So we get like one hit off there, and then we're gonna soak the one bat hit. One, two, three, four, and then take a hit. Yep. Electro Wizard, Bandit. This is kind of like a bridge spammy deck, it's looking like. Although I'd be happy to see three Musketeers because we're rocking lightning and I feel like that gives us a pretty hefty advantage. No, he's going to throw down the P.E.K.K.A. So what I'm going to do is throw this down here. Get some bats going. And then I'm going to actually pull this back to kill whatever he throws behind this. Okay, he's going to throw Electro Wizard down. And what I'm going to do is Lightning. Because I'm pretty sure that'll take care of this. And we're, we're behind now. I'm going to throw this down. I think that'll kill all the bats. Oh my goodness. With the bats in the log, he ate through that. And I have to be careful because dropping the Hog Rider into the P.E.K.K.A. is pretty disastrous. I kind of like him to throw P.E.K.K.A. in the back and then us counter push with the hog on the other side. So let's throw our knight in the back here, kind of draw out. And I'm actually, I'm actually gonna go for it over here. All right, so he commits there. I'm gonna stun the tower. Then we're gonna throw our executioner down here and we're gonna soak the damage from the bandit over there. So let's get this down. I'm gonna pull this back. That's going to kill the Electro Wizard. And then I'm going to freeze this and get uh, Hog. Yeah, that could have been that could have been pretty bad. And I'm going to Executioner again. All right, he's going, he's going really, really aggressive here. So I'm kind of expecting another Pekka to hit the field. No, he's just going to throw Bats down. Is he going to Pekka on this side? One. Let's go ahead and Executioner. Bats. Oh my goodness, we just barely stopped that. Could have been ridiculous. All right, I'd like to get Hog. He just used Bats, so I'd like to get Hog. Lightning down. Let's go here. Oh, no. The bandit's going to get to us. Oh, man. I was kind of thinking I could pressure it a little bit faster than that, but he was able to get that rush in. And, and spam the laughing mode at the end, which I take to be the highest level of honor. Why? All right, you, you, you know, warm-up games. 
I, I almost want to say we're destined to lose every first game of the episode. So let's go ahead and start off again. I really do like the Ice Spirit play at the bridge. Let's, let's get it going here. It's going to go up there and hit the bridge. Then we're going to throw the Executioner in the back. And yeah, let's do this. We'll soak some damage. Uh, but the mortar isn't going to kill us completely. And then that knight's going to get a bajillion hits off on our tower. He soaked, he did some nice damage to us there. But I think now that we know that he's mortar and we could prep up our knight correctly and soak some mortar hits, get that hog going, get the log going, maybe lightning along with it. All right, let's pressure with the hog into this. I'm going to log, preemptive log. Nice tornado. Yeah, you know, you know the mortar's coming. I'm gonna play this here. Then we want the executioner to be hitting the mortar. I don't feel like we wasted a lot of elixir there, so I think that was a pretty good defense. And then while the executioner is still alive, we're oh, really wanted that hog to go over that. And we need to start pig pushing the hog, obviously, because we're not even getting one hit off. Let's get the knight going. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna chop down that knight. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna go on the offensive here, and that wasn't a pig pushed hog. That was not a pig pushed hog. He's gonna be able to pull it over to the side again. We are gonna get a hit off, and then we're gonna have bats coming in here. He's gonna have to throw his electro wizard down, which I like that. Let's get this going. Let's get this going over here, and then I want the knight to soak. Then Hog's gonna hit the field. Then I'm gonna log. Uh-huh, uh-huh. He's going to have to answer this knight executioner combo. Which kills it! Holy cow! Now I need to cycle back around to the knight, get the knight blocking over here. Let it lock on, get the executioner at this angle here. On, get a nice hit off, get a nice hit off there. There we go. Now the hog's gonna come in, and I'm going to just get the I'm gonna get the lightning going. Got 40 seconds left. I just need to play defensive here. Let's get this going. Knight off to the side. You know the drill, guys. Alright, it locks onto that. It didn't lock onto our tower, did it? It did lock onto our tower, but we kill it. And our lightning is able to seal that game away. Holy moly, I uh, almost lost it right at the end there. Whew, that lightning surprised us. That hit our knight, took it right out of there, got rid of the executioner, and we needed to have our hog down on the field before that even happened. All right, game number three against this guy. Ike the bad man. It was hard to hard to see spaces there. Uh, I'm gonna choose to pull this back like this. And rather than go in with a hog, I am going to throw bats down behind this just to see what he's rocking. I almost feel like we get some lightning value here. Get a hit! Okay, we got a hit off, so log will kill that. But instead, I'm going to Executioner. All right, now, now our hog will have a nice splash damage backup. So let's get the hog rocking. He plays the Mega Minion on the Executioner, which was a decent play. Uh, but now we've got something interesting going on here. So let's Ice Spirit. 
and then knight and bats. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this down toward the king's tower. I think he could get a hit. No, unfortunately, unfortunately he can't get another hit. I'm not gonna hog. I'm gonna choose to play very defensive this game. I feel like in comes his goblin gang again. And instead, I'm gonna hog and then log. Ooh! Oh, that, that was so predicted. That was so predicted. All right, let's execution her. I want to activate my, my King's Tower with this hog. So what we're going to do is let this go to its death. And then I'm going to play this here and then pull the hog over here. Pull it over to the King Pop tile. The bats are not gonna kill it. We're gonna get that hit off. And let's go. I doubt he goblin gangs again. Oh I'm I'm reading I'm reading this game like a book. Let's get the executioner down again. He's gonna kill everything? Almost. Let's get the knight on the bomber, because that's gonna do a ton of damage. And then let's pull it up a little bit higher. Bats over here. I'm gonna force him to expend elixir on the right hand side. Well, he doesn't have to expend elixir on the right hand side, but I bet he, there it is. I bet he does that. Not too concerned about taking one hit. We don't even take a hit. Let's pull this bat and then let's take out this tower. Lightning for the win! Good game, well played. We had a couple uh, probably lucky. I knew it was in rotation, so maybe not so much luck. Some really good reads there. I knew he had the Goblin Gang in his hand, and I thought, you know what? He's probably gonna throw that down. So that predictive log was great, and then he seemed like a good enough player to anticipate the log again and he did he threw the elite barbarians down which is what i was hoping for with that lightning couldn't have been more perfect executioner to back it up in came his goblin gang again it just listen to me singing my own praise best clash royale player in the world you know the most disappointing thing about not beating that challenge getting the 20 wins was forever having this challenge status 16 wins as my highest win. That will forever haunt me. I don't care to win the competition. I want this screen to show 20 wins. In this deck, if you want to sub some, sub some stuff out, you could put in skeletons for the bats. You can throw in minions for the bats, zap for the log, fireball for the lightning. I really liked fireball zap combination in decks. It's good, but I in this deck specifically, I think it's best with the lightning because, man, it just... The log takes out the small stuff. The executioner hits those flying units. The lightning takes out those heavy buildings like the inferno tower, the inferno dragon either, even, the furnace, all of that stuff. It's got so much power to it. If you're a hog player and you haven't tried this deck, shame on you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Always appreciate the support, the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I definitely look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Wherever you are in your day, make it awesome. I will see you later.